Today I'm going to create a square and a series of concentric squares using the rectangle shape tool in Illustrator. I'm also going to be using the properties panel to easily set the size of my square rather than um, dragging it out and trying to make sure. The first square that I'm going to make on this composition, this is an 8 by, uh, not 8, this is a 10 by 10 artboard in Adobe Illustrator. I want to put an 8 by 8 square into it. There are a bunch of different ways I can do it. Like I said, I can go to the rectangle shape tool and I could drag out, hey, where are my rulers? Uh, if at any time I don't see a feature that I like to use, I can go to view menu and choose show rulers. There are my rulers. Um, when I'm trying to make a square in a specific size, a lot of times I'll just select the rectangle tool and then just give it a single click rather than click and drag. I will set the width, it gives me dimensions here, I can enter dimensions into the little boxes, so I will set this at 8 and then tab down to the height parameter and set that to 8 and either hit return, hit re enter, or click OK, which will give me an 8 by 8 square. Yeah, I know, that's not centered. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to just drag it into place. Uh, I still don't know if that's exactly centered in there. I'm not sure I can see my whole artboard. Uh, if for some reason I think I can't fit artboard in window, hey, now I see the whole thing. And no, it's not centered, but we're going to take care of that in a minute. So to make more of these, if I'm making something that's like op art, and I want to make a bunch of squares that are graduated in size down to one inch. What I'm going to do is hold down my Option key. Uh, it would be Alt key on a PC. I'm going to make a copy of this by doing Option or Alt, click and drag. I'm going to open up my Properties panel. Rather than f kind of mess around with the bounding box here, holding down Shift, trying to make it, oh, what's the next size down? Oh, it'd have to be 7 by 7. I can just use the Properties panel if I open that up and change the dimensions of my shape. Again, I can use the Tab key to tab from text box to text box, or I can just click inside them and then hit Return. That will shrink down the square that I just created. And like I said, I'm just going to keep going down using the Properties panel. I just hit the Tab key. so. Uh, got to be able to count to do this. Keeping... That's, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to keep moving ahead 5 by 5 until I get down to 1 by 1. Again, Option or Alt, click and drag to duplicate. Yeah, there's, there's like no way to speed that up. But we're almost there because I'm down to two by two. And as I'm doing this, you'll notice they look like they all have a different line weight. Ew. Oh, well, that and they're not. If I want them all like concentric squares, uh, this one's got to be in the center. Rather than try to drag them all into place, I'm going to click and drag to select all. And I'm going to use my fancy alignment tools for this. Up here in the control bar, there's this little thing. The default setting, I think, is aligned to selection, but you also have align to artboard. Again, everything's selected. I want to make these so that they look like they're concentric squares, starting with the biggest one on the outside and then the smallest one, that one by one one that I stuck. Uh, that's going to be at the center point of this and everything is going to be lined up like perfect. So I'm going to click align to artboard and then I'm going to choose horizontal align center from the first batch of alignment options and then Vertical Align Center from the second batch of alignment options. 
So everything is aligned. Everything is aligned to my artboard. There's an inch of space between all of them. I really didn't have to do a whole lot to get these all lined up. The line width, that's kind of yucky. So I want to change it. Um, if I'm using option click and drag or alt click and drag to duplicate things, when I reduce down, it's going to also reduce the weight of the stroke. To get them all so that they're, I think, two point would be nice. I'm going to go to the stroke panel here. You notice there's like nothing in there right now. So I'm just going to click the little arrow next to it and choose two point, And then they are all the same stroke weight. <laughs> 